Okay, so today we're going to be swapping out this front grille R230 2005 Mercedes SL. This is a 350, but I'm guessing that the procedure will be similar, or pretty much the same for a 500 or a 55 AMG. So, four bolts. Those small ones there, they're eight millimeters. One, two, three, and four. On oh, nine, this last one's broken anyway. So good job we swapping it out. And then underneath here, there's some clips that you need to take out. They just slide out. So these four bolts easily come out. And this grill seems to have been Now we'll just take them out by hand. Last one. You can see that this grill's seen better days anyway. So this seems to be bad damaged here. That corner as well, so good job we got a new one. So we'll get rid of the hands for this next bit just to make sure it comes out okay so put the phone down I'll pick it up once I get this off okay that'll come off easily just have to give it a dunt here and here and it slides back the way so you can see there it's just ridged onto the bottom it's not really clipped in as such it just goes under the ridge the bumper and then there's no more screws or anything like that to take out so So, first things first, clean all of that. Okay, so there's the old grill, standard four slat grill off the 2005 SL350 with damaged clips. And here is the new grill. Much nicer, solid center logo, with the black mesh and the chrome single slat on each side. This is from CKS Performance on Amazon UK. I'll leave the link below. But you can see it's exactly the same fittings at the top as the stock grill. Exactly the same. And exactly the same push fit clips or slots at the bottom as the stock grill. And this grill comes with the logo, about 150 pounds, I think. So let's go and fit it. Installation, of course, reverse to the removal. Let's just sit it on top and then just use these to pull it through. Make sure it's clipped in. Don't think it'll actually make a clipping noise or a clicking noise, it just slides in and they're just there to hold it in place. Each one of the holes in this CKS grill lines up perfectly with the holes for the stock grill which means no modification so surprisingly enough four eight mil screws into these hand tighten them and then we're good to go too tight, it's just plastic so it will crack if you keep going. So that should uh, can I use that as a guide. Even spacing.
down. Infinitely better. It's not quite down properly. Obviously, I lift it back up and do it again. That was just to make sure it didn't crash or crack it. So let's do it again. Don't know about you, but that is much, much better. Good stock. Just gives it a different look. So. 10 minute job, not even that. Big difference to the car. Next thing I think we need to do is get a black badge to match that. So, many more mods to come on this car. That's just the very first one. Thanks for watching.